Speaking Who? of no, another person axed is Jonathan Majors. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck happened there? Because he was in every single fucking movie I've he, seen a trailer for the last year and a half. He was going to be in like the next six Marvel movies as like the main bad guy. Now he's like done. <laughs> and Creed or whatever. He's been in all these things. He's fucking done. It, people love that um, reboot. The uh, the Creed shit. Yeah, I mean, well. I've heard I've heard good stuff about it. I mean, you're doing a boxing. I mean, it's movie. all there, you know. Yeah, like, Rocky's a good franchise, and it's just more of it. So yeah, and obviously it's completely different because it's not some old. Well, no, he's he's the trainer. Fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, you know, I actually just found out how um, Carl Weathers has a son. He should have been in it, oh. Carl Weathers' son. Well, he got killed off, right? Didn't yes, Apollo so. Creed get murdered? Yeah, but it's like one of his sons is in Star Trek. I know that. I actually saw there's like a thread uh, about people who commiserate over how um, Apollo Creed should have been murdered. And then Susan so Sloan kind of agreed to it. Hmm. Yeah, Did I've been watching... I started watching Picard, man. It's really good. It's so, it's like shockingly good. So I watched uh, the Mandalorian new season, and then started watching the new Picard, which is season three. I started. I, I watched the first two seasons, and they're like god awful, like not even worth watching. I, I barely watched it, but the third season is like really fucking good. It's it's by a, a guy who was a Star Trek fan, and you can totally tell the difference. Someone who actually like cares about it. It's like shocking. It's like you know how a lot of these you know like these rebooted franchises don't really appeal to the old fans. This actually does. It's it's really shocking. Very good too. Like good acting. Like I really could recommend this to anyone and probably would like it. Even if they don't know Star Trek. They'd probably like Picard season 3. Who? Picard, season three. Patrick Stewart plays Picard. Yeah, I don't know who Picard is. Patrick Stewart. Like the rum? Captain Picard, best captain of Star Trek. Yeah. I... Who's who's <laughs> your favorite? Who's your favorite cat? What are you? Are you like a Kirk guy or whatever? You like you like Captain I, Kirk uh... more? No, I just I don't. Um know any of it like i know data who's the um they brought him back guy. he's in this data's I know the reading rainbow guy because yep, he's back watch roots like for he's back four years in a row i've seen he... roots like 20 times i've yeah. seen that and the clash uh what's that titans movie remember the titans or something oh, i've yeah. seen both those movies like 10 times yeah but um Jordy's back. Jordy, uh, Reading Rainbow guy is back. LeVar Burton. Every everybody from the I original cast is back from the '90s Star Trek. Okay. Well, Spock's back. Spock. You, oh no, no, Spock's dead. Leonard Nimoy's dead. That's that's old shit. Oh. I'm talking '90s Trek where it's like you know war. No, new Spock. You got Jordy LaForge is, is from um, Smallville, right? Yeah, he's they're, Super, they're done with those. Super, they're done with those Superman. movies. As it seems, they're done with those movies. J.J. Abrams? Yeah, J.J. Uh, Jar Jar Abrams? Yeah, he's done, man. I think he's done with Star Trek. <laughs> why, why are you calling him that? What's, you know, what's he's his a, new nickname? I, I like that nickname, Jar Jar Abrams. He's the, he's the reboot guy. Like, what do you do? Because he's, you know, attached to Star Trek and all that stuff, so. And he's he, Is he pushing from, like, Jar Jar to be and shitting him? I mean, I'd say he's as bad as Jar Jar. So I'd put... JJ in that realm of terrible. He Whoa. really he fell so hard in Hollywood. He fell so hard with having those Star Wars movies like bomb. End of his career. Nah, people love Lost and all that shit. Yeah, it's old. What's the, what's the latest thing Jar Jar has done? Uh, JJ stands for Jar Jar. So that's also what it seems to be. 
That's the thing, man. Um, he hasn't done shit. He hasn't done shit since Star Wars. Didn't he do a... He did a King Kong reboot? No, that was Peter Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's on Avatar. Something with Avatar. No, I don't think so. That's J- that's James Cameron. <laughs> Uh, I could I could see him trying to like attach himself onto it though, like be like I'll make it I'll make an Avatar show. I'm friends with George Lucas. They should make an Avatar show and it make a ton of money. It would just uh, undermine the main franchise. I just gotta see what George Lucas is doing, man. He's probably eating a salad right now in San Francisco. Yeah, he's probably eating like a Cobb salad. He's probably, um, I don't think he even eats at this point. He probably just has pills. That yeah, that could be the case, man. He's seen him for hours at a time. He doesn't even eat food. <laughs> when, you, when you're when you generating that kind of money, you can't be actually eating. I don't know, man. You've seen that gullet on that, that guy? you seen that gullet on this guy? He looks like he's eating. Oh, that's all I'll say. I think he's getting a healthy diet. A gullet? Yeah, like he's kind of got a gullet. Like a he's, he kind of looks like um. You're ah, comparing this... him to a pelican. Yeah, a little bit. He kind of looks like this um. Like a pelican. He he looks like the Star Wars guy. I'll show you the the clip. It's um he kind of has the same look as this guy. He's got this gullet like this, just with a beard. Well, yeah, if you're trying to hide your gullet, you got to grow a beard. Yeah, I mean, hey, come on. I, you know, what can you do? I think George Lucas is one of those people that really, uh, he really um, <laughs> relied yeah. off of. Uh, uh, yeah, you know like what? You're, you're like completely dehumanizing this guy right now. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, yeah, why not? That's the first step into, uh, you know, Memeing him out into like some freak shit. I think he completely relied on other people around him, and he took all the credit for all of it. Well, yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of people who, when you, like, even like you know, you can go back to like David Bowie. Like a lot of people, they just rip off stuff you haven't heard or you don't know about, and then you just think it as theirs. Well, like, what's you your what's your favorite David Bowie stuff? <laughs> singles probably like random singles even though i've listened to like full albums and stuff all like the major you know shit you hear like on the radio all the time it's the stuff that's in my head like let's dance or some whatever stuff like that i don't i don't like remember music in like albums at all you know like it's always like just random like parts and shit. Not like even full songs most of the time. Is George Lucas still doing shit? Uh, All he's doing is counting his money. He doesn't have to do anything. He hasn't had to do anything since, like, day one. Day one after Star Wars got released, he doesn't do anything. I think he's kind of known that, too. What about, uh, what do you think about David Bowie's uh, acting performances? I only, uh, Salmon Labyrinth. Which is Did you like that haircut, thing. though? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, uh... Do you think David Bowie has quite the leotard collection? I would assume he does. Like, that's what I think. I bet you that... I see that guy, and I think, like, he's probably got some good leotards. <laughs> He probably does. I bet he's got like leotards that are worth, you know, tons of money based on whatever fabric they're made out of, or like 
jewels that are impressed. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. Yeah, he's he definitely. I, I'm noticing. Like I, I was making a joke there. Turns out he does have a lot of leotards. Because he came up as like a, a clown type of guy or like a mime. You know that, right? The like no. Bowie started out as like a mime. Yeah. I did he not know that. Like Charlie Chaplin and shit. And then he did like folk rock for a long time. And then he got into um, like uh, proto punk shit after he came across uh, the Velvet Underground. When did he and get he fucked by a um... off for Ziggy Sardust, which is like, you know, all that is is just like. Villa Underground, like um, cover band, pretty much. You know? When when did he get fucked by um, Mick Jagger? When did that happen? In the seventies, I don't, I or maybe even earlier. I don't know. I know they did. They definitely did fuck. There's a whole like. Yeah, it's. I think there's a whole um, like I think their wives said they <laughs> fucked. Like I think both their wives <laughs> came in on them. There's a lot of weird pictures that are not even related to what I thought was going to come up. Yeah, they're um I think it's I think it's like confirmed. I think it's like Wait, officially the confirmed. Third person one? Who's the third guy in the middle? Let's see. Oh, I don't know. No, go Is back. Yeah. This guy? Scroll down. Who's this guy? This one? Is Lou Reed. Oh, all right. Speaking of Velvet Underground right there. Oh, so Lou Reed definitely probably fucked David Bowie. Slash vice versa. Slash probably fucked Mick Jagger. So there was like a three way probably going on here. I wonder if fake I wonder if um fake Paul McCartney got involved at one point or no. <laughs> Who? You know, the replaced Paul McCartney. After he died? Oh dude, he died in nineteen sixty six. Let's not let's not fuck around. Come on, we, really everyone, like we all know that. Thing? No, he was just um, I don't know, man. I I definitely think he was. I definitely think he was replaced. I do. I think it was just too much of a media sensation not to replace him. There's all this mind control going on in the seventies with music and sixties. Telling you, man, he was replaced. They they also like um all kind of. They've all kind of hinted at it too. I remember I was reading an interview with George Harrison saying, "Like 1966 is when he really like said he woke up, which is when the accident happened with Paul McCartney. He he's been replaced. You can see it in the ears. Different person. See see the ears." Different guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's Billy Shears, man. That's Billy Shears right there. I don't think so, man. I think he's uh, like. Do you think these two people are the same? Well, that, I mean, that's uh, that'd be interesting to know about. Is like how many really famous or like uh, lucrative people, you know, that like, have made a ton of money, have been like cloned or reproduced or kept going. So that even though they died, they still exist. So, you know what I'm talking about? oh, dude, just yeah. So, speaking of that, there's been numerous people that have come out that said they've been their doubles, and especially with Kiss, you know, Kiss has the makeup. So, I think there's a lot of doubles going on with that. You mean like a doppelganger? Well, it's like if you you can have a fucking double that looks like you and that has the makeup on, like you know, and then you can have six other shows, you know, like that's what Kiss is doing. I'm sure they're doing it. Oh, so you? you I think like they're hiring cover, like very professional cover bands of themselves. Dude, I don't even like think they're cover bands. I think they're more money. I think they're pretending to play wow, to the back. I never thought about that. Like, yeah, dude, like a really interesting uh, movie. I think they're pretending never, to play to a backing I track. That concept. I don't even think they're okay. even playing, man. They're playing to a backing track. You know, it's all just a show. It's like um, yeah, lip synced. Um, People got all pissed off recently about uh, this Frank Ocean fucking shit where the guy was an hour and a half late to start and then the entire performance was like just playback stuff and he was barely singing the whole time. And uh, people were just posting shit like he fucking sucks. I hate him. I hope he dies. Like I hope he never performs again. All this kind of like really fucked up backlash. 
All I'm saying, man, like, can is... you imagine like waiting two hours for that fucking shit to start? Like, yeah, and it's like hot as fuck and you're in little in mud. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, that's the thing is like, would you rather have someone go out that looks like you and do it, and you just make the money? I think most people like kiss. Kiss is such an easy, easy example of they could easily do that whenever. And even like Ace yeah, Freely, um, Ace Freely like recently said he's like I'm gonna do like a tell all, and then like I think they paid him off or something, and it never happened. There's like some dirt to the whole scenario. They like made fun of Ace Freely or something recently on Howard Stern. There's been some news on it. Oh, yeah. All right. So let me see. Where are we at? All right. We're still on Jonathan Majors. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There's already word that he's going to get recast. There's a um, look at um, <laughs> some other black uh, actors that kind of look like him. I don't doubt it. it. His whole rise felt so forced. Like the, the entire time. I, I remember when, while it was happening, I kept seeing all the trailers and all these movies and stuff. And I was like, what is going on? This feels like so uh, out of place, like overwhelming. Like, why? Like, this guy's like getting forced down my throat right now in every single movie. Yeah, I think it's because he looks like George Floyd. <laughs> I think it's because he looks exactly like George Floyd. Is there a whole, like, uh, subreddit on that? No, but I mean, I think he just kind of looks like him. I've heard people talk about him. Like, I see it, man. Doesn't Google this kind of look like him? If you look at this and then you look at that, maybe yeah, I'm racist yeah. here. He has a similar no, no, look. No, no. no. He's I got the goatee. Off base on that, but I'm just curious if that exists already. Like, if if people already. Oh no, people have said it. People have said he looks like George Floyd, and I kind of think there could be something to that. Well, he kind of ended up. Yeah. He's getting arrested. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, he's someone that... All right, so he was going to do the Otis Redding biopic. That is now... He's thrown out. Yeah, he's I saw not doing Otis it. Redding... <laughs> you know what's weird? I saw Otis Redding trending on my Twitter thing, and it said sports next to it. And I was <laughs> like, how the fuck is Otis Redding on sports? And then I Googled like Otis Redding as like a baseball player or something. No, he's a, he's a singer songwriter. Didn't he do like music? No, 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 no. I know that, but it's like the way that like Twitter was suggesting it, they had like uh, incorrectly categorized. Oh, I can see that. It gets it just probably point. went through everything because it was so popular. Yeah. No, I know Otis Redding. He does uh, sitting on a cock uh, in a bay or whatever. Yeah, sitting on a. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's that, that's that old uh, standby. Sitting on a dock at a bank. I've so heard um, Marvel yeah, gonna have to eat this one pretty hard. Yeah, and it's funny because um, oh, you know what? They can get um Don Cheadle to come in and take over. Bob, <laughs> I right? guess they've they've done that once before. Yeah, they can, <laughs> yeah, they've done that once before. Let's have, let's have like some Ant Man multi universe Spider Man shit where Don Cheadle comes over. But then, and hey, in, forget about that guy. He never existed in this universe, you know? But then in reverse, you got Ezra Miller, who's fucking kidnapped the minor. Yeah. And but, <laughs> put her into a, a cult. And he's, they're still going on with him. <laughs> like, I haven't seen a lot of good memes of him and the director meeting each other for the first time. <laughs> like, Oh, that, yeah, I can see that being that fun. Is, yeah, that combo is like, you know... And he still yeah, gets to be the Flash. The he's, he's still gonna like. I don't. I don't get it. You know, he's had to see in, like every producer's dick or something, and he can name. He can like pinpoint it in a police lineup. Every uh, like executive producer's penis or something. Because there's no reason yeah. why he shouldn't be fired, and this guy is for allegedly doing something to his girlfriend. I don't know. That's like the Rick and Morty guy. Uh. You know, like, the main voice actor got, like, kicked out of the show? I don't know if you heard that. Justin Roiland is his name. He does both Rick and Morty. He does both the voices, and he's kind of, like, also the creator of the show. (laughs) 
he had alleged uh the he had some alleged sexual harassment that went to court and it turned out to be false, but he but they still kicked him out. I think before they even knew the decision, they kicked him out of the show. <laughs> I mean, Fucking retarded. If you're in something like The Flash, you might just be too big to fail, right? At a certain point. You know? I guess so. I mean, also this whole DC thing is uh invested. it's not yeah. worth whatever else is going on, you know, like Yeah. It's like don't they start with running some guy over and then playing the Super Bowl the next week, you know? Like yeah. we need him out there running those deep routes and maybe getting a thirty yard T D, you know? More than yeah, we I mean, need yeah. no schmo living. I mean he choked a woman in a bar. <laughs> This guy choked a woman yeah, in a bar. Yeah, probably, wait, 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 wait. So he's done the exact that. same thing as Jonathan Major. He actually choked a woman in a bar. He's had drug possession and he's kidnapped a minor. But Jonathan yeah, Major. Just seems like they have a system of like framing and they just reuse it over and over again for whatever they're trying to manipulate, you know? It's like yeah. the whole uh, sprinkling crack on somebody from yeah. Dave Chappelle. I mean, Jonathan Majors is getting fucked. Yeah, he's getting... I've never seen a rise and fall that quick, though, you know? Yeah, especially where they're, like, they committed to having him in, like, six movies, and now it's just fucking done. I know, like, I, 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 and to the point where, like, I kept saying, like, man, this motherfucker is, like, everything right now. Like, what is going on? I, I just thought, like, his agent was really good, or he's got a good, um... No, I think he's, you know, like, I think he's a pretty good actor. He's very fit. What? So he's got like, I don't like, remember him in a lot of shit. No, but I know apparently he's in some indie movies and he's supposed to be like a good actor. So I've heard he's got some chops. Okay. He's like fit. He's very fit. His, he's he's like very him. toned. So that kind of works with the superhero shit. And, um, you know, hey, come on. He's black too. So that goes for you. You get that going for you. <laughs> like, you know, they need to cast more black actors. So he got put right into the role of everything. Especially during this time, you know, you go back. What we're seeing now is a result of a couple of years ago. Because every, you know, there's always pre-production. So you go back a couple of years ago, there's the Oscars isn't black enough, all this shit. So he's the big result of, you know, force, force casting, I would say. Yeah, no, I see what you mean. Not that he's, he's not a, good. He's not that he doesn't deserve it, but of, I don't know. Um, he's, a, he's a result of stuff being more lenient based on what was going on before yeah. and yeah and then you end up with like people kind of taking advantage of that knowing they can get away with it but then they didn't yeah get caught and then i think i also just i think there's honestly like while we've been talking i think something actually happened with him really yeah so I... people are on the hunt <laughs> the witch hunt is still ongoing yeah so his management team has completely dropped him his PR team and his uh wow so they they must know something that this guy definitely choked this bitch or something. Um, he he's been be, uh, homeless next month. Yeah, it sucks because this magazine Dreams movie I heard is supposed to be really good. It like did really well at Sundance. Like everyone was saying, like oh this is gonna be a good movie to watch. That's gonna get hurt magazine now. Dreams. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a bodybuilder who's just. It's supposed to be like a really indie movie, like a bodybuilder who's just trying to I think look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So just kind of like a bodybuilder type drama movie, and he was supposed to be the guy. So he's no longer going to be in this film adaptation. He's the yeah the Otis writing thing we talked about, and then yeah, it looks like he's done as being Kang. Who Kang that? is done. Oh, he was going to play Dennis Rodman. That's done too. In what? Something called Forty Eight Hours in Vegas, and then Spike Lee. Oh yeah, that's um. Wow, this is fucks. Last Dance. This kind of sucks. That. Spike Spike Lee had a movie he was gonna have him in. That sucks. I feel like you should. I don't know. I feel a little bad for this guy. It's like you know, just because somebody does one thing wrong, doesn't mean I don't know. Completely remove him. Come on. Texas Rangers have removed majors from their 2023 season ad campaign that was set to debut on Friday. I wonder what that would have been. Would that have been like in the stadium, like the billboard shit or some shit? 
You would know that. Is that that is that part of fantasy? Is there any fantasy aspect to the Texas Rangers and Jonathan Major? Any implication there? Is he going to affect their morale? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm I got to blurb something right now. Jose Jose Quijada just got a save. Well, without Jonathan Majors, will Texas Rangers get as many holds? That's the question uh, right there. I feel like, you know what? I don't know. He might be good for the overall just... Uh, That's what I'm saying. The morale is down. Yeah. He's no longer if, allowed. Like, if if uh, Spike Lee died right now and the Knicks are in the playoffs... Oh, Knicks are blowing it right now. I saw the score. Knicks are blowing it. They're losing to Cleveland. They are? What I looked they're like... They I'm yeah, they're uh, they ain't win- they ain't winning that matchup. I'd be surprised. I would be. Surprised. Well, I can't say that, even though it's it's probably true. Let me see the NBA scores here. Um, yeah, it looks like all right. Yeah, the Knicks lost ninety to one hundred seven to the Cavs. Yeah. And. Uh, Wow. Lightning beat the Leafs 7-3. to three. Oof. Rangers beat the Devils 5-1. to one. That's a nice start right there. Who scored? I saw, I mean, I saw Tarasenko scored earlier, and I saw Kreider scored. Alright, so Kreider got two goals. Keiko got an assist. Panarin got two assists. Heedle got a goal and an assist. Kane got an assist. Tarasenko got a goal. Lindgren got a goal. They they had overall like everywhere. They had a good good day. That's a good start. It's at it's at Devils too. So how you want to start it? I'm telling you, I know Dave was shitting all over it, but I think Kane and Tarasenko are gonna like rip it up in the playoffs. I think that's the time to where it really matters. That's why they were here. They, I don't think they gave a shit probably about the last part of the season. They know they're gonna get to the playoffs. So it was like that kind of vibe. I got I got a bet going too at work with uh my one uh my manager's Devils fan. So whoever uh whoever wins gets a uh, pay for lunch, or lo- or vice versa. Whoever loses gets to pay for lunch. As far as the series goes, that's the bet. You have any uh friendly bets going on with uh, the NHL? Favorite? Oh, Devils. Devils are favored to win this because they've had a better season. They have a little better ranking. Devils played really well this whole this whole year. And then kind of the last part of it, they dropped off. But they were already at like a point where you knew they were going to make it. They had like a last, kind of a shitty end of the season, which is never good going into the playoffs. 